Yes, uh, first of all, uh, the seal is uh, a mammal and it, uh, it has lungs as we have and uh, uh, it goes down very deep as depending on the seal species but approximately 1500 meters depth and uh, can stay submerged for over one hour also depending on the, on the species. And they, go, do, they do this of course to, to eat, to find food and then you have two problems. One, you have a lack of oxygen and two, you have the enormous pressure that is down on uh, 1,500 meters. So you have two big problems to solve. Uh, if I take the pressure first, um, when the seal enters 100 meters, the pressure, pressure is already so high that the lungs are completely compressed. Mm -hmm. uh, and all air cavities in the body is uh, at danger because air inc uh, increases the pressure, but the lungs are compressed at 100 meters depth. So that's no problem, all the air is squeezed out and the seal is, the chest is compressed. So it's, you have only a little bit air in the airways. But uh, the airways, the trachea, is very strong in the seal, so it stays uh, up even though the pressure is even higher. And then you have the oxygen problem. If you're going to stay submerged for over one hour uh, and you are a mammal that breathes in air, you need to carry down with you the oxygen you need. So the seal, have, um, the seal has uh, a lot of adaptations. First of all, it has more blood than we have. Uh, we have approximately 5% of the body, uh, body weight in blood. They can have between 10 and 20%. Uh, and they have a lot of hemoglobin in the blood, which carries the oxygen. Uh, the seal muscle is also black. Also, a lot of diving whales have this. Because you have a lot of myoglobin, which is a related molecule, which uh, stores oxygen in the muscle. So the oxygen, um, uh, the muscle of the seal has its own oxygen supply. But this is not uh, enough that they can be submerged for one hour. So they need to redistribute the blood. The organs that doesn't need blood during the dive doesn't get blood. That means that the vessels are constricted. They are completely compressed. So no blood goes, for instance, to the digestive system. Because it doesn't have any food in the digestive system, it doesn't need to, to have blood there. When, when a lot of blood vessels are constricted, you have a lot of blood. Uh, available for important organs like the central nervous system and also it, it, it has a possibility to uh, decrease the uh, temperature of the brain by cooling the brain through the nasal heat exchange mm -hmm. it, it cool the brain this will uh, reduce the oxygen consumption of the brain which uses most oxygen and um, that means that um, that uh, it could save a lot of oxygen there then you have to decrease your heart rate so the heart rate can, can drop down to almost three beats per minute. So they go down to the depth where schools of fish are. Mm -hmm. And then when they are filled up, they go up to the surface and they start digesting. At the same time, you have a lot of lactic acid being building up in the blood because you haven't been breathing. The CO2 goes over to lactic acid. Mm -hmm. But when it comes up, it starts to flush, reflush, and breathe again, and all of this uh, CO2 is uh, going out of the system, out of the lungs, released from the blood, lactic acids uh, level go down, uh, you fill up the oxygen again, and you have seen maybe have to, to be there for half an hour, one hour before it can start a new dive.